Well, hi everyone. This is a comparison of three different McCulloch steam cleaners. So I'm going to show a quick overview of all three, show you the accessories, and then go into a bit of detail about the individual cleaners. We have the MC1230 handheld cleaner, cost $70, the 1375 canister, which is $170, and then the 1385 deluxe canister, which is $200. So you have the kind of base model, you add $100 to get one canister, and then another $30 to get their high-end deluxe model. And now look at the included accessories. What I have laid out first are the ones that come with every single model. So they start off with this four inch triangular brush with nylon scrubbers on the, the base of it. And then there's a larger rectangular accessory that you can clip this into to make the brush even bigger. They have a three inch scraper. Then they have the extension nozzle you put on to put these different brushes on. So each of these brushes, they just clip right onto the front of that. So they all come with a 1.5 inch brass brush, two nylon brushes, and then a 2.5 inch scrub brush. They also come with water containers, so the one here with the spouts for the handheld, and then the larger container is for the two canisters. There is an accessory that's unique to the handheld because it doesn't come with a built-in hose. It has this extension hose that you can clip right on the front. So you can clip the accessories onto that front nozzle, or you can put this hose on there and then clip the accessories onto this. So laid out in front of the handheld are the accessories that they all come with, except for that extension hose. So let's talk about what gets added when you get these other models. So the 1375 comes with a two and a half inch nylon brush, an extra two and a half inch scrub brush. It adds what I think is a big deal, which is this mop head. So I really like the mop head. It also comes with a uh, bristle brush attachment that you can clip the mop head into to get a, a bigger uh, brush head. But what I really like to use with this are, it comes with two mop pads, a microfiber and a scrubbing mop pad uh, that just adhere onto the front. It's got some, it's kind of like Velcro that just holds it in place. Goes on easily, comes off easily, uh, stays on when you're doing the mopping, really like it. And those uh, mop pads are machine washable. You also get two uh, 16 and a half inch long extension wads. You can use one at a time or two at a time. You can use them with any of the accessories. Uh, I tend to always just use them with the mop head just because you're standing up and, and mopping the floor. They swivel around. They just clip into place really handy. And something that I forgot to mention up front is that it also comes with an angled nozzle. And now the 1385 again comes with all of these accessories and then adds three more. Comes with another one and a half inch brass brush, two and a half inch nylon brush, and then it adds a nine inch squeegee that has brushes on one side and a squeegee on the other. And something I forgot to show in the video, but all three come with a storage bag for their accessories and the canisters come with a uh, accessory net that attaches to them. And now for a look specifically at the 1230 handheld cleaner. Again, here it is. Uh, I think it's got a nice convenient size, fits good in the hand. Uh, it's got a trigger right here on the handle. You can also lock the trigger open uh, so you don't have to keep it squeezed because it does take a bit of force to keep that trigger closed. Uh, on top here is the dial where you fill in the water. I'll show you that in a second. It's got a nice long power cord with a wrap around it that stays on. Uh, so here you have to unscrew it. It's got a decently long thread. All of them do because uh, you have a pressure vessel once you get that steam heated up. I really like this design of the top part as you're pouring the water in. I mean, it's its own funnel, so you don't have to have your uh, separate funnel to get the water to go in there. It doesn't make a mess when you pour it in. And you want to make sure that the cap's back on tight. And now uh, just a quick discussion about three of these accessories that I've, I've used. So the first one I'm going to take a look at is that extension that you put the bristle brushes on. I've used this to clean out the floor in my shower. So when this clips on, and I apologize, I'm holding the camera one hand, trying to get it on. So here, once it's snapped into place, uh, this one's really quite handy to use without the extension uh, because as you're scrubbing, you have a decent amount of room between where the brush is and the base of that uh, cleaner. So I didn't have any trouble using this one by itself. I'm gonna show you once I get this one snapped off. There you go, the, the larger triangular brush. Now this one, when I was using it, uh, could have just been the, the angle of the, the shower I was trying to do, but for some reason, as I was trying to clean with this one, I, I kept hitting the cleaner against the floor as I was trying to use it. So that wasn't the most convenient. So then I put the extension hose on, uh, which works quite a bit better, uh, gives you a lot more reach. But I want to show you something about that, that hose. 
So once you get this put into place, uh, on this one, on the extension hose, there's no way to operate the steam from here. There's no trigger on it. So you, you still have to run the, the steam from the trigger on the handle. So it, it's not quite as convenient uh, because if you want to just put the cleaner down and then work, like say inside the, the shower scrubbing with this thing, uh, you have to either keep that trigger pulled or you have to lock it in place. But when you lock it in place, the pressure runs out fairly quick on this cleaner. And now moving on to the 1375, the first of the canisters. So compared to the 1385, it, it is a little bit smaller. Uh, it also doesn't stand vertically, it's a horizontal uh, model. So it comes with uh, a long extension hose for the, the steam. So here on the main unit, uh, I really like this. It's got a gauge for the pressure that's inside. Uh, so normally I run it around uh, four on there. It's got a dial here to adjust how much steam is coming out, uh, either more or less with plus and minus, obviously. So looking at it from the side, um, it's got the power button here right on the bottom. Easy to use. It's got the water fill here. Uh, again, I really like that feature. It's recessed just like a funnel. So you don't have to be overly careful as you're filling it in. Uh, and then on the back, it's got four little clips here. That's where you put that accessory net that I forgot to show you uh, when I was showing the accessories. And a nice long power cord, just like all three of them have. So here, uh, you got the hose, again, really nice and long. Uh, the handle on this one is where the trigger is. So as you're using the accessories, you got the trigger right there. Uh, you can also lock the trigger in place just like on the other model, like on all three, they, they all do this. They all lock in place. Uh, that trigger has got a really nice, easy pull to it. Uh, and then that's where you snap the accessories on. So let me set that down and I'll show you the main unit again. So it's got a handle right there. Uh, makes it very convenient to pick up. It's pretty lightweight, uh, not too bad at all. So on the handle, it has this area uh, with a little niche there where the, the handle will lock into place. So that's a nice way to store it. It doesn't have any real easy way to to loop up the extension hose though. Uh, I just wrap it around in a circle and then lock that into place in the handle. It's not too bad. I do wish it had a place to put the power cord on the back though. That would have made it a little bit more convenient for me. But you can always shove it into that uh, accessory net that I mentioned. So overall, I think this is a good cleaner. I do like it. Uh, but now we're going to move on to the 1385, which is really my top choice. So now let's take a look at it. So this is a vertical model. It does come with uh, some nice convenience features compared to the 1375. So let me turn it to the side here. Uh, this also has a handle there on the front. It's pretty lightweight, easy to pick up. It's got the power button there right on the side. It also has a second handle in the back. So that handle will extend up just like those carry-on uh, luggage bags, those roller bags that you can use. Uh, just like a vacuum cleaner, it's got a wrap here for the power cord, which swivels at the top so you can get the cord off pretty easily. I was surprised that they didn't put anything on the plug that would clip it onto the rest of the cord. So I just put it in there and try to let friction keep it in place. Here's that accessory net, if you can see it okay, uh, that I didn't show before. It's also clipped onto four little posts there to keep it in place. So moving around to the front, uh, just like the other one, nice long extension hose for the steam. I just have it wrapped around trying to hold it in place there. It's got the pressure dial. So let me get this hose off of here. Sorry for the Blair Witch photography, I'm trying to unwrap it while uh, videotaping. So there's the hose, here's the fill spout, uh, just like the others, really nice feature with that recessed area. So you don't need a funnel to not make a mess. And this handle here is just like on the 1375 where it's got a feature that you can clip this into. So something here that I really like. Okay, so it's got the trigger just like the other lock in place, but here you can adjust the volume of the steam right there on the handle versus having to do it on the main body. So if you're, because of the long extension cord, you're gonna be further away from the unit. It's really convenient to be able to do it right there when you're working with the steam mop or any of the accessories. So I definitely like the canisters over the handheld. And the reason I think the 1385 is worth another $30 over the 1375 are the steam adjustment right there on the handle, the vertical orientation, the handle on the back, the cord wrap, um, the extra accessories. I just think it's worth the, the extra money to, to get this unit. So that's the end, and thank you very much for watching.
Well, hi everyone. This is a comparison of three different McCulloch steam cleaners. So I'm going to show a quick overview of all three, show you the accessories, and then go into a bit of detail about the individual cleaners. We have the MC1230 handheld cleaner, costs $70, the 1375 canister, which is $170, and then the 1385 deluxe canister, which is $200. So you have the kind of base model, you add $100 to get one canister, and then another 30 to get their high-end deluxe model. And now look at the included accessories. What I have laid out first are the ones that come with every single model. So they start off with this 4-inch triangular brush with nylon scrubbers on the, the base of it, and then there's a larger rectangular accessory that you can clip this into to make the brush even bigger. They have a 3-inch scraper. Then they have the extension nozzle you put on to put these different brushes on. So each of these brushes, they just clip right onto the front of that. 